All right, well, let's head back to Davos. Yahoo Finance's Alexis Christophorus spoke to PwC's global chairman, Bob Moritz, about what CEOs are telling him about the state of the global economy. So I think you've got CEOs that are looking at the past year with a lot of trepidation. The amount of risks that they have to deal with, the amount of uncertainty that was out there, particularly when you look at what's happening between the Brexit and the EU, the China trade conflict with the U.S., elections all over the place, social unrest and the like. So that pessimism comes from the uncertainty that they are feeling as they sit in the boardrooms and decide what steps to take or perhaps pause before taking those steps because they're worried about that uncertainty. To be fair, this was the survey was taken in the fall prior to the phase one trade deal being signed, prior to having the clarity we now have on Brexit. Do you think if that survey were retaken today by those very same CEOs, we're talking about 1,600 CEOs, by the way, across 83 countries, do you think there might be a more uh, or a less pessimistic tone? If I had to guess, and it's a guess. It's probably a less pessimistic tone, but still a little bit pessimistic. Again, when you look at some of those big issues, some countries where those CEOs are residing still have a lot of concern and a lot of uncertainty that's sitting there today. So while we have some certainty relevant to perhaps the next step on trade with the U.S. and China, let's not forget, there's still issues with trade in general. If you look at Brexit, we have certainty with the election in the past, but how will exit Brexit actually now happen and the implications on the EU? If you look to the U.S., the politics over the next 11 months will be interesting interesting to watch. Will Trump get to a second term? If so, what does he do with it? If a Democrat comes in, what happens to the tax? What happens to regulation where there was a lot of reform that gave an environment of confidence to the U.S. CEOs that can only drove a global phenomenon? Yeah, a decent amount of question marks still out there in the global in the global world for these CEOs. What about how they feel about their own backyard, about their own businesses, revenue growth in 2020? Does it sort of jive with how they feel about the global economy? It's clear that the pessimism from an economic economic perspective does translate down to their own confidence in their own organizations. The difference, I would tell you, it's not a view sector by sector or country by country. It's company by company. Those that feel they can control their own agenda, those that are driving a transformational agenda in terms of leveraging digital and technology and changing what they do, how they do it, and getting an effectiveness and efficiency productivity gain from that, those are the ones that say, you know what, I see opportunities even in a slowing economy, even in this uncertain world. And that's where we, PwC, believe there'll probably be a differentiation between the winners and losers over the next year or two or three, where in the past, everybody was riding that curve because there was a lot of upside on a worldwide basis. Also, I'm curious in terms of geography, which countries are the CEOs more optimistic? So you, two phenomena, so let's go for two different reasons. In the U.S., the CEOs are confident. They had a lot of resiliency over the last decade. They've been able to ride that curve. The economy has been solid. There's a great stability and resiliency within the consumer, and they love the innovation. If you go to the other side of the equation, there's a great and unbelievable confidence coming out of China. Now, let's not forget the China survey went to CEOs, many of them state-owned, so that governance, uh, government connection is still there. Um, when you look at the underlying demographics in China, there's a big upside, right, both in terms of what has to happen on the domestic agenda and the role that China plays across Asia PAC right now. If you go to other countries, though, not so much. Brazil, um, UK, while better than previous years, still somewhat concerning in terms of their confidence level. Look at continental Europe and the lower part of Europe, a lot of concerns there and their confidence and ability to drive the agenda going forward. And in terms of uh, CEO's top 10 concerns, it's ironic that here we are in Davos where uh, sustainability and climate change are the themes, yet climate change does not land on the CEO's top 10 of concerns. Why is that? So I think you have two phenomena going on. One is it is a geographic focus. If you look globally, it doesn't reach the top 10. If you look at particularly in Europe, you see it in the top five. The second thing is, and this goes back to the risks, there's so many coming that they're top of mind for CEOs. So the question is, what can I control and not control? Um, the average CEO is seeing a lot of things come their way. Uncertainty on the economy, policy issues, political agenda, trade conflicts and the like, cyber. So all of those things are sucking up the, the openness and the blue sky. Climate falls down as a result, unless there is a focus of this is important, it's important to me strategically and I will take action on it. And that's where we see for the first time ever, CEOs saying climate could be an opportunity for them, not necessarily just a downside and, and I risk. believe China felt that it was uh, the biggest opportunity. Was China from sees China. it as the biggest opportunity, and this is where I think tech and climate come together. Leverage technology and data to drive how can I have a positive impact on society and the world relevant to clients, CO2 emissions, pollution, and the like. All right, you can catch Yahoo Finance's live coverage of the World Economic Forum in Davos starting at 8 a.m. Eastern here on yahoofinance.com or on the Yahoo Finance app.